We have some breaking news out of Brooklyn to tell you about. Police have shot and killed the suspect wanted for a double shooting that left a father and son dead in East Flatbush earlier this week. You're going to remember this was the man who allegedly lived below the victims, went upstairs to complain about noise before pulling out a gun. Well, this morning, police say they fired shots after the suspect charged at them with a knife. Let's get straight to Michelle Ross, who is live at the scene where this all unfolded today. Michelle. Chris, this is where it all went down this morning. We're on Harway Avenue and Bay 43rd Street. Police have restricted access for a couple of blocks as they investigate, but they are crediting license plate reader technology for locating Jason Pass, the man that they say shot and killed his neighbors on Sunday night. Now, this was at around 7:10 in the morning this morning when police received a hit for a license plate on a black car associated with the suspect. NYPD Chief of Patrol John Chell says they rounded the block to confirm the plate. And once they got out of the police car, the suspect jumped out of his own car and took off running with a knife. Backup officers arrived and they were able to isolate him, communicating with him for 15 minutes to try to get him to drop the knife. But police say the suspect did a full sprint and charged the officers, leaving them with no choice. Our officers on a Wednesday morning at 710 doing their job. Approaching a person wanted for a double homicide, they did everything they could to neutralize this person and get that knife out of his hand. They were forced to defend themselves. Police say 47-year-old Jason Pass was wanted for shooting and killing his neighbors, a father and stepson, 47-year-old Vladimir Matherin, and 27-year-old Mode Chinwai during, uh, during a dispute. Now, that shooting happened Sunday night at the Brooklyn Gardens apartment complex in East Flatbush. Again, police are crediting that license plate reader technology for locating him this morning. They say this technology is protecting New Yorkers. The NYPD says they also had hostage negotiators on scene, but that the suspects did not give them a chance. He later died at a local hospital from his injuries. That's latest live here in Bath Beach. Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News. All right, Michelle, thank you very much.